Hi, it's Ms. D with my tips and tricks for Unit 2. So let's just go ahead and click on Unit 2. When you see this, there will be a video with this video. It will actually be up here, so it's going to look a little bit different than what it looks here. But other than the video, it's going to be the same. So uh, we're going to start drawing in a loose, sketchy style in this and just kind of loosen up. I know at first it's um, really easy to be super judgmental about your drawing, but just don't worry about that. Just uh, just be loose and do your best, and uh, you have to trust that you're going to improve as time goes by. But the first thing I want you to do is take a look at these online galleries in Behance. Now, these people have been drawing for quite a bit longer than you probably. But these are some of the things you can do with drawing. You can make video games. You can do logo design. You can do, it'll help you with your photography. It'll help you do anything uh, better. It, it just makes you more organized. But what I'd like you to do is choose something that you um, like and do a screenshot of it. Now I'll include how to do a screenshot in the in the unit too in case you don't know how, but on the Mac you just do Command Shift 4 and you draw like a little box. And then it shows up on your it shows up on your uh, um, on your desktop. And then uh, this is so that you can talk about what you thought was interesting, what caught your eye. Just pay attention. Really what you're trying to do is figure out inside, you know, what do you like? Uh, what catches you? What interests you? What kind of stuff, um, what kind of drawing would you like to be able to do? And notice that not all, very few of these are really very um, realistic. A lot of them are more cartoony and that kind of thing. So that's... Part of the reason I wanted you to look at this is to realize that drawing doesn't mean just um, making something look exactly like what it already looks like because you could just take a photograph and do that. So anyway, that's Behance. Have some fun on there. And then um, once you're done with that, go to the discussion board. And here you can add a new discussion topic. And what I'd like you to talk about here is uh, put up maybe your screenshot, maybe one or two screenshots, and um, just talk about, I don't know, what, what interested you. You don't have to go on and on, but uh, just talk about what how this affected you. And then you have an art history assignment. This video is about the um, cave art from 10,000 years ago, the art that people did, and I, I think it's fascinating. Uh, most students do too. So when you're done with that, go ahead and uh, make some comments in the cave art forum. Uh, just talk about what what interested you in this. And then, once you're done with that, I have a, there's a site that you can go in here if you want, if, if you are super fascinated, which sometimes students really are, they just want more. And you can click a visit to the cave and you can actually get in a tour through the cave, which is kind of interesting. Um, all right, so every week you're gonna have a visual journal, which is uh, figure about 15 minutes per drawing, do three drawings per week, Sign and date your drawings. Each one of those drawings is five points. And then uh, photograph and upload your visual journal here. Now, if you want to put all three of your drawings into a Word document and upload the one document so that you're not uploading a ton of things, go ahead and do that. That's totally fine with me. Um, then we're going to go to this site where they teach you the Gluck method and what I like about this site is um, they've got one for adults and one for kids. I would start with the one for kids right here because they show you how to hold your pencil and it's really cool. Let's see if I can get this thing to load up pretty quick. Okay so she goes through go in any direction. So she kind of she shows you how to just get started and uh, do just loosen up in your drawing and in this one he shows you how to how to draw still life um, using his method and this is a really nice and loose sketchy method so go ahead and watch those videos and then get back into here and then you're gonna draw your own still life now I'm challenging you to come up with some 
objects. Look around the house and find some objects that are interesting to you. Uh, the more you are interested in what you're drawing, the, the more effort you're going to put into it. And that's what I'm looking for, is for you to uh, loosen up in this one, put in some effort, uh, make just make it the best that you can, and then sign and date it and upload it here. And then you are done and you're ready to go on to Unit 3.